I would like to present before you two historical perspectives which are the Russian Revolution and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Both in times past and in our present day and age, there have been many disputes, discussions, and media to, dis to depict what the Soviet Union was like to live and work in. However, I would like to discuss the beginning of the Soviet's reign. The reign began with what is known as the Russian Revolution. After the last Romanov Tsar was overthrown, this is what I would like to just show and pers a perspective about. Russian Revolution and how it shaped a perspective on how many view the 20th century. Throughout history, every kingdom and empire alike, they all have risen to power and then eventually fall into defeat. Well, the same went with the Soviet Union. I will compare with them both how they are similar and how they came together to form the Russian Federation. After a long reign of Tsar's rule ending in 1917 on October 25th, incredible social and economic changes were attempted by the Bolsheviks who wanted the, the end of Tsar's rule and the beginning of the Soviet rule. The unforeseen shortages and hyperinflation had brought in the new economic policy, abbreviated as NEP, which replaced the former command economy. Catching up with the Western world, world Russian policymakers fervently urged for the industrialization of Russia. As intellectual minds were put to great use in the scientific world after the stimulative experience of the 1920s, near in the end that the death of Lenin and heroes to the throne, the Stalin's rise to power ended and in turn debate brought to use collectivization as the dom dominant strategy for the economy with great social costs. After a reign of terror, Stalin, his death came, and many struggles to reform the Soviet Union came, but all failed. The Russian currency known as Rubo of the terror caused by Stalin can still be seen even nowadays in New Russia, after 100 years since the Russian Revolution on October 25, 1917, until our present day, it appears that those 100 years have all been wasted. Yeah, so, so many years of terror, anguish, and both social and economic struggles have taken place, but now Russia has changed. It is now a federation instead of a union of Soviet Socialist Republic. The days of Stalinization are now over. Near the 1990s, the Soviet Union was undergoing both changes and collapse in fact, that it could no longer uphold its former Soviet government and its ideologies. Throughout the 1980s and well into the 1990s, the Soviet government went through many changes. Its government, ideologies, policies, foreign relations all changed as Mikhail Gorbachev undermined former Russia to establish a new government or at least a reformed government. Both Boris Yeltsin and Mikhail Gorbachev battled against each other for power and control, but both men and the parties strove to keep the Soviets from collapsing, but the tension and opportunities were vanishing away. Gorbachev's pleas for money to enable him to reform were of no avail. Foreign relation building came to a cease as pleas for American help did not work. The Soviet Union finally collapsed. Its government could no longer stand. Yes, many former agencies like the KGP, the Kremlin, still stand, but under a nationalistic government instead of a communist Soviet government, now governed by Russian nationalist president Vladimir Putin. With the collapse of Tsar rule, the collapse of the Soviet Union, there was some pers perspective similar prospective similarities between the two. Both of them caused social and economic struggles. Both of them ended with a frantic grabbing at straws as they plunged into the depths of the dissolution. Both of them set two perspectives concerning how the 20th century is viewed. There are most likely more similarities, however, 
I want to discuss the perspectives. The form formulation of policies was a key point for the Soviet Union as the ideology of a communist state without constitutional freedom led to the industrialization which, as time progressed, more and more policies were made to combat the economic and social struggle it faced as the years went by. With every policy seemed to come more struggles, with every attempt to reform came more policies and then more struggles, until the collapse which was caused all seemed to be going well, and then suddenly the foundation crumbled. This Soviet era from the 1920s until the 1990s has colored the historical perspective of Russia as, so, as purely Soviet analysts. Economical and social struggles ravaged the country, as well as famines, stylizations, Soviet reforms, etc., all battled Russia, which all led to further struggles. Likened to the formation, the collapse of the Soviet Union hit Russia hard. When all seemed to be going well, the handling of resources was not as careful as, it, as in former times, and so their end came abruptly. The signs of it can now be seen as we look back to at the crumbled ruins of former Russia. A perspective of wonder arises in one's inquisitive mind as one looks back of what that could be what could be considered a hundred ways to yield the people's struggles. Like the Tsar's collapse, the peasants were poor as the governing entities lived in luxury, looking from perspective of the Russia Russian Revolution, one can see a historical perspective wherein, with, <coughs> wherein attempts to gain constitutional freedoms just ended up in the people's struggles and finally the disillusion of the Soviet Union. Finally, concluding all that is written above, I would like to say that if it weren't for the Soviet Union's reign, then the new Russian Federation may not been established. The world may have been a very different one, a better one or a worse one, we do not know. One thing we do know is that after hundreds of years of Tsar, of hundreds of years of Tsar, Tsar rule, the nearly a hundred years of Soviet rule, Russia has become a federation, giving the people a freedom they never yet had. I hope you liked this essay and this video on the rise and fall of the Soviet Union, wherein I hope to have properly discussed two historical perspectives, giving you a clear view of what happened. Thank you for watching.